the best recruiter for Hamas is Israel. I mean, you have talked a lot about the horrible condition in Gaza. Yes. I mean, let's imagine like a little boy called Rami. He lives in Gaza. You know, he have a horrible life, but like, you know, it's like, it's not that bad. I know he has a cousin in the West Bank. He's living a good life. He wake up in the morning and he found out that he was kidnapped by three settlers. He was burned alive by kerosene and he was forced to drink the kerosene. His name was Mohammed Abu Khudair. And that settlers did that to him in 2016. So, all right, you know what? I'm just going to leave because I'm going to find a way to go to Europe. His aunt is an, a published author and she won a prize in the Frankfurt Book Fair. His name is Adnay Ashtalib. And now she was canceled because of what's happened, just because of her a Palestinian. His other aunt in America, his name Bahia Amawi, she is a speech therapist. And I, this is close to my heart because of my son. And she was uh, fired because she did not want to sign the con for government con that said that you cannot join BDS, which I don't understand. Why do people choosing to protest peacefully by not buying goods from a certain country, why would the United States make that its own issue? So, and this guy, this, uh, this Rami is being approached by him, but like, oh, join Hamas, join us, let's go kill us. No, 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 I don't want to kill, I'll just, I'm going to live in Gaza. It's a life, but 97% of water is not good for human consumption. Half of the population are anemic, even the is not being treated and it goes into the shores of Israel. It's like, oh, that was, that was oh, Palestinian. Which is it's horrible. Yeah. So, and then he, and he wakes up in the morning. He doesn't think about killing Jews the first thing in the morning. He thinks about being there at five o'clock in the first 50 people in the line for bread, because if he doesn't, he will miss the food for his family. And he goes back and he finds a message saying that we are going to bomb your house. He comes back, he loses his own family. Now tell me, what is a proportionate response for that? I don't know. I don't know. You cannot create terrorism and then you... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know is the answer. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know is the answer.